Please welcome Mark Summers, ladies and gentlemen. What was the idea behind that? I, I, I saw the clip and I didn't see that. Episode. It's a show called What Would You Do? Yeah. And uh, a crazy man by the name of Woody Frazier created a thing called the Pie Pod. And generally, people from the audience get selected and end up there if they do something incorrect. But that day, oh, it got I turned see. around on me and I oh, got I it. See. Yeah. I see. Now, do you, do you like doing the messy stuff, especially? Is that. Uh... No, it's very strange because I am really a. I'm Felix Unger. I'm a neatness fanatic. Right, so right. it's just kind of weird that I've been, for the last nine years, doing that kind of TV. And uh, we've done some weird things on the show. Uh, we once filled a, a container uh, with 4,000 pounds of baked beans and made kids dive into it, which was really great. Gee, I wish I'd seen that. You would <laughs> <laughs> now, you say you, you make the kids. I mean, you force the child, you, no. you hold the child's head under the baked beans, and then you throw them out. And then... We have uh, an obstacle course. Who told course. you were a neatness freak? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I just say that because your back is to me, and I, I, I was just talking to a back. No, no, I, I can talk to you too, Bert. Thank you. Watch um, out, he's got scissors. He's got, he's got scissors. No, I was just wondering who told you that, because... My, my wife tells me that often. You, she says, good morning. I'm, I'm You're still neat. married, as a matter of fact. Yes, well, you... Yeah. Losing control of the program, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Just... God, really? Uh, he's not a neatness freak anymore. <laughs> so, Mark, welcome to late night television. <laughs> <laughs> This nice little quiet, you know, Nickelodeon Not lifetime. We do a little show. We, we do some sewing. We, you know, we yes, do some little, you know, yes, things like yes, that. <laughs> Bert Reynolds just threw water on me. Did you notice that, folks? <laughs> and you'll treasure it, lady. Don't touch me. So. <laughs> on your show all the time, Win, Lose, or Draw. I used to love that show. It's funny, I don't remember. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah, so anyway, we were talking about uh, being a neatness fanatic. Yeah, it's talking about being a neatness fanatic. But yeah. you started out as, as a magician, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I was, I was, I was a, what's this? Oh, oh, oh that's all right. Uh, Thank you. Uh, yeah, about a week and a half later it came. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Thank you, Fabio. You know, I don't mind that because I deserved it. You, des you deserved it? I deserved it. I did it to you, I deserved it. You know, it's, okay. I, I, you know, it's the kind of guy I am. You know? Okay. And I was saying to your wife the other night. You know? <laughs> You were a nice guy. I saw you on one of those uh, PBS shows. You were very sedated. It's easy to be nice to nice people. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's Stu nice to see you two have hit it off so well. <laughs> it's doing his Milton Berle impression. Take a look at that. Anyway, <laughs> too obscure for the room. Anyway. It's, uh, it's too hip for the room. I bet is. that plays good on Nickelodeon. Yeah. <laughs>
thank my guests or not. But anyway, it was Burt Reynolds, my life. Mark, would you like Mark oh, Summers a copy of Burt's book? Absolutely. Would sure you like a tiny whipped cream? <laughs> Burt Reynolds, this is a book, my life. And tomorrow night, uh, Warren Betty will be a Carrot Top. We'll be on tomorrow night to due to some too. unfortunate accident tonight. Carrot Top will be here tomorrow along with Susie Boggess. And Conan's got Robert Klein coming up next. So see you tomorrow night, folks. Thanks. Come back tomorrow. Be